gosh. Oh boy. Top of the morning to you lads. Top of the morning to you. Ready to go? Yup. It's like, yeah, uh, it's 12.30 right now, so let's go. So today is our first full day here in Kampot, and I just realized I forgot my glasses. Darn it. Hey, look at this. Our noble steeds, they've arrived. Have you ridden a scooter before? Yeah, in Bali. Oh yeah? Yeah, they were, what, I think four euro for an entire day. Crazy. And then you got ticketed. Yep, we got ripped off. We uh, got caught by the police in Bali, and they find us one million uh, Indonesian rupees. One million dollars. Which uh, we found out afterwards was a complete rip off and we just got scammed. I'm a ride till I die and I love it. Start your engines. Everyone test your horns. All right, check. We've arrived. So this is pretty much how you always get gasoline when you're traveling around Southeast Asia. Uh, they don't really have that many formal gas stations. I mean, they do in big cities, but when you're on the outskirts, you come to someone just like this, who has basically just set up their own little pumping station. And uh, you'll often see it like pop bottles filled up with gasoline on the side of the roads. All right, let's go. So we found the Cambodian Eiffel Tower and uh, Ben has so graciously offered to climb up top to get some good views <laughs> um, I'm not scared of the height well I mean I respect the height I'm worried about are we allowed in here so we're about to do something probably that I wouldn't put on the travel guide of Cambodia but when life gives you lemons climb a massive cell tower. Ronnie's gonna get some amazing drone shots from over there. We are gonna be going up here, and you're probably thinking, that doesn't look very safe, but it is because you've got a cage around you, meaning you can't fall. Unless you fall straight down, there's nothing stopping you from that, but. Dude, I think I'm like probably less than a fifth of the way. Maybe even like, I'm 10%? I'm That's encouraging. So what do you guess, how high are we now? 20 meters? Maybe less. Yeah, about 80 feet, probably. 100 feet. Yeah, <laughs> this is pretty uh, out there, dude. Yeah. This is pretty high up. Ronnie's drone right over there. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Vertigo. You're back. On to the next location. We were up in the tower. We made direct eye contact with someone and then they were on their cell phone. And so in our heads we were like, oh crap, they're calling the police. And I don't want the police to come here, like take my camera gear. We got down real quick and now we're gonna do something much more PG. We're gonna go to a local waterfall, which is probably only like two kilometers away. We have just arrived here at the rapids and it was about a dollar US each to get in. So these are the rapids here and you can see lots and lots of local people. I don't really see any tourists actually. It's all locals and some monks. Illusion of a friend 
dear friend of mine with your self-defense tell me you do you feel ashamed on how you've turned your back on me please tell me why'd you go this far and who the We got uh, the coolest ride in all of uh, Kampot right here. That's what happens when you export a lot of pepper. You can buy nice rides. Do you race? <laughs> Racing with the bike? Oh. Whoa. Wow. That's cool. So we're leaving the rapids now and <laughs> trying to find out where the waterfall is because I believe there's also a waterfall with the rapids, but we didn't see it. And like, I have a drone up, I couldn't see any waterfalls around. I'm starting to think that there are none. It was all a lie. Hey Martha, looking great. How are the kids? So we see this train track, we pull over, and now we're getting lost. We're gonna go explore, go see what's down here. It looks like the train track turns into a bridge over the river. Just don't fall down. <laughs> That's the only rule here. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah. That's pretty far down. Yeah. So we were watching a video on YouTube all about Cambodia and they were saying that Cambodia has the largest amount of amputees out of any country in the entire world. And the reason is because of landmines. So uh, during the wars uh, with like the Khmer Rouge and the Vietnamese, there was countless landmines placed all around the borders and even inside of the country. And so uh, the problem with the landmine is once you set it, you probably forget it. And so the ones that haven't already gone off are still basically waiting to go off. And so every year there's, I forget the number, I think they said every year there's like 100 people that lose a limb because of these landmines. So. Um, we're not getting too lost today, I guess. That is goals. That guy is with his dog on a bicycle. That's where I want to see myself in five years. Don't fall like this. Yeah. The haters will try and stop you, but you can't let them. Don't let the haters, man. Make them away downtown, walking fast. Faces pass and I'm homebound. So about three hours later, uh, the battery died, and so basically we're back at the hotel. For dinner, we had fried rice and chicken. It was $2.50 per person, including one beer. So $7.50, everyone ate, had a beer, pretty crazy. Uh, I'm gonna be switching to the G7X because we're going out tonight. Uh, I have no guarantees as to what that actually means. I have a bad feeling that we're gonna be back here in probably like an hour because Kampot is a bit of a sleepy town, but we will try to find the nightlife. Roll back Thursday, vlogging on the GoPro, what up? Hey, boys are taking on the town. <laughs> Kampot isn't gonna even know what hit it. Where, what? <laughs> Where did the bikes go? <laughs> They've disappeared. I think they got taken around the back. The night is young. Okay, there's nothing open, everything's closed, and it's like 11.30. I don't even know if we're gonna get food tonight because all the restaurants are closed, but the night is ours. Do you have anything to say to the audience? Not bad, not bad. Where are we going? We're going to O'Neill's. Lovely. Can my food? Cheers. Cheers. That was really terrible. Can we... <laughs> I have to say, I'm really liking the Anchor beer. Probably one of my favorite beers I've had in Southeast Asia. All right, we're back on the road. What are we doing now? Going Jungle Club. Smash. Jungle Club. I don't know if you can call it a club. We have just come. <laughs> what was that? We have just come back to the hotel, and that's the end of the vlog. Leave it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and let's get lost again tomorrow. Fan of the day.